This episode of Sauce Talk was brought to you by KixFest. We're on our way, Dallas, Texas, July 31st, 2022. To purchase tickets or vendor space, go to Eventbrite and enter KixFest 2022, Dallas, Texas, featuring Lil Flip. It's your boy Tony from Saw Saw, man. We back with another one, man. Shout out to Kurt J, man. You know what I'm saying? You know you had to pull up on us, man, and see and tell us what he had going on, man. I, I first want to start off, man. I appreciate you coming through, man. Absolutely, man. Thank you for having me, bro. Yeah. I'm honored to be here. Yeah, I know you got a lot of things to talk about, man. So Yeah. yeah. So uh, I want to start off with uh, what genre, genre of music do you re do you relate to most relate to uh country country music oh, country music yes sir it's hard it's hard it's hard <laughs> <laughs> yeah you could because like you seem to have some gospel country yeah. music influence in your original music you know what i'm saying well well gospel music that's my roots you know that's that's what i came up on you know coming up my grandparents was very strict so when you had no choice we had to go to church you know what i'm saying and I mean, I just, I, I grew to love the church, man. I just, I love the sound, I love the music, I love the people, I love the atmosphere, man. So gospel, my roots, man, that's what I do. I just took country music and just just made it all feel good, man. That's what's like, up. I don't want to be labeled, you know? Okay. So, like, where you originally from, like? Baymanette, Baymanette, Alabama. Okay. Sorry. That's dope. So, like, was it hard coming up, like, being from that small, like, like I know the population is small there, so, like, was it hard just... Coming up and just getting your name out, absolutely to be noticed. You know, and then honestly, man, I, I I grew up I grew up very poor, so <clears throat> we didn't have a lot. You know, didn't have transportation, didn't really have finances. You know, just struggle, man. You know, coming up. So, you know, our situations and our times were harder than everybody else. So it was just hard trying to build a name or or, or you know get that popularity that I was looking for, you know what I'm saying, with my situation coming up. So I needed a bigger way to showcase my talent. I needed a bigger way to showcase my gift. And, you know, the voice is what changed my whole life, man. Like, that took me from being poor to, you know what I'm saying, just being able to provide and do the things that I, that I, you know, I long for doing for my family, you know, so. Like, do sometimes you think, like, do you just, like, do that, like, that's motivation, like, you think back, like, when you was poor and, like, when you was struggling, like, do that kind of, Absolutely. Add fire to. I think. I think. I think I'm who I am today because I failed. Oh, okay. I, I I think I'm I'm who I am today because I went without. Because I know what it was like to not have indoor plumbing, or, or food, or lights. You know what I'm saying? I I know what that felt like, and I appreciate the struggle today. Now that I have, you know what I'm saying? Things that I can afford. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And just have a little more fun. But I'm very appreciative of the struggle. So what what kind of impact does country and gospel music have on you as a black artist? Ooh, man, you asking all the good questions, man. <laughs> that question almost said <laughs> chill. <laughs> Run that back one more time. I said, what impact does country and gospel music have on you as a black artist? Let me tell you something, man. This is God and the truth. Man, uh, God came to me in a dream, told me I was going to stop racism. He took, hear me? He said, uh... He said, black people that hate white people and white people that hate black people are, are gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna love each other. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna come together again. Like they're gonna, they're gonna get a light to God because of my ministry okay. in the, in the, in the country industry, in the country music industry. Mm -hmm. God gonna take my ministry and my lane and my music and bring and, and, and help stop this whole racism thing, man. So. Like, I just want to influence, I want to inspire, and I just want to bring people closer to each other, man. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's that's dope. That's a dope that's vision, it. man. Yes, oh, I really feel that. Yeah. So do you feel black artists are forced into a box when it comes to mainstream music? Uh, I mean, if you talk about the country music genre, I mean, in a way, uh, I guess you could say that because country music is predominantly white. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you don't, it's not very common that you see African American. Um, 
attack the country, mu attack the country music industry. Um, as for me, um, it was a struggle coming in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had to, I had to deal with a lot. I had to deal with the racist comments and slurs. It was just a whole lot. They said, "Where's your cowboy hat? You know, where's your cowboy boots? You ain't country. Um, um, you wear Jordans. Blah blah blah. This yeah. and that." And I just explained it to them. What I wear don't make me country, man. It's in my heart. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If it's in my heart, if that's what I love to do, then that's what that's what I do. And um, those people that had all those questions, they came to me crying after I got through singing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you got to them. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. You just never judge a book, man. Let's go. Are you trying to appeal to like a, a certain audience? Audience? Man, everyone who got breath in their body, man. Out, out to the universe, to the world. You know, I don't have anybody in, you know specific that I'm trying to. Re if I can touch the whole world, the whole nation, that's that's what I want to do. Yeah. So how long how long you been like actually doing it like music? Like how did you say you started in the church? Like how like well how, professionally how long? professionally I've been doing this about five years, man. Oh. Okay. Um, but I came up singing in the church, you know, because uh, I honestly didn't have a choice. Yeah. And I, I grew to love singing, man. But not until probably tenth grade. You know what I'm saying? I always thought I'd be a football player or a basketball player. And you know, just God showed me another vision, man. And I. I grew to fall in love with music, and here I am now, man, pursuing it. That's my only thing I do. God has blessed me so wonderful, man, that music is the only thing I, you know, I do. So, and I'm loving it, bro. I'm loving it. So, how did the voice? How did that come about? Like, with you, um, shit, I got, I got tired of shit, <laughs> singing in bars and making four dollars <laughs> at the end of the night. I said, golly, I know I don't sound that bad. Yeah. And I just, you know. I just wanted a bigger way to man. I just I needed more money, man. I needed I needed a bigger audience, and yeah. just singing from bar to bar, I wasn't doing that. I said I need to hit big. I need to go on TV, and that's how it happened, man. So how was it working with Blake, like as far as like being on the scene, like? Man, like, you're a great interviewer, man. Yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, so, somebody sign this guy, bro. <laughs> man, Blake, so dope, man. People ask me this question all the time, like I was Blake Shaw, and honestly, man. What you see is what you get. Yeah. You know what I'm saying with him? He ain't no different. Like, y'all think he just act a certain way because yeah. he on TV? Nah, Blake, 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 that same dope, funny guy behind the scenes, off the scene. He's just a genuine dude, man. Fun guy to be around. Fun guy, man. Yeah. Funny as hell. Yeah. I had seen, um, yesterday while I was on your store, I seen you had your daughter on your store, which, how, um, how did that change? How did you change becoming, how did that change when you became a father, did? Did that change Dude, a lot of I stuff stopped, in your life? So honestly, man, when I'm, you know, when I was in my dog, dog years, yeah. my dog ways, <laughs> talking to women crazy, you know what I'm saying, and not, you know, cussing and all that, you know, raising hell, man. I had, when I had a daughter, man, it, it, it made me reevaluate everything, like the way I talk to a woman, you know, the way I treat a woman, you know what I'm saying? Like you look at life so different, man. Life humble you, man. Because, you know what I'm saying, the way you treat a woman, some man gonna treat your daughter that way. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's gonna be a man that's gonna you know and I don't wanna I don't want I don't want her to be able to look at it. I want my daughter to look at me and say, I want a husband like my daddy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I just, you know, she's changed me tremendously, man. That's my heart. Yeah. That's my joy, bro. She 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 Yeah. So she yeah. changed your you say, would you say she changed your music? Like to Uh she or she just that's my baby girl. I mean, she's she's already an inspiration. I mean, she just I think I think she she love anything Daddy put out. I don't think you know she yeah. she ain't really changed my you know my lane or anything. I you know since she's been in this world, man, I've written a couple songs about her that's not released yet, and uh, mm -hmm. I'm excited about putting them out. Everything y'all want to know about our relationship and her, you'll hear in the songs. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, what would you say, like um, going forward? What would you say would be your biggest challenge? Um, man, just, you know, consistency, uh, um, just, you know, don't get complacent, man, and, um, uh, man, like, spend time, spend as much time, as much time with your family, yeah. like, uh, because being on the road is tough, you know what I'm saying, being away from your kids is tough, so, man, I just, you know, 
I just want to be a better everything. I want to be a yeah. better father. I want to be a better friend. I want to be a better spouse. You know, yeah. I, I, I challenge myself to be better at everything every day, man. So yeah. Yeah. just keep going, bro. Never give okay. up, man. Yeah. So, so other than the Union Music Group, what other artists and producers <laughs> would you want to work with? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Shit, y'all in this room? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh uh, man, Pharrell. Oh, uh, I would love to work with Pharrell. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's what's up. Uh, you know, my partner, Bamba Boy Jesse, was signed to him, you know, Watch the Ducks. They, they was I would love to work with Bamba Boy Jesse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. shout out to Bamba Boy Jesse. Shout out to you, man. Yeah. Shout out to Sauce World, too, man. I don't know if I said yeah. it. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, man, um, I don't know, man. I just, man. I got some dope producers myself, man. So I ain't really, I ain't going looking, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I feel good. I feel good. Shout out to Hip Hop Meat, man. Stancy Turner, bro. Jay Chill. Yeah, Sada, Sada Turner, yeah. yeah, Turner. That's my yeah. partner. Um, yeah. yeah, man. So, um, if I was to go in your car right now, look at your playlist. What you playing now? My country, <laughs> pop. Yeah. Pop, that's that's what I listen to, man. Country pop. Uh, I listen. I like R and B now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know. And I ain't just saying it because I'm a black man. I just love some some yeah. good R and B music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, but country man, pop country. I love that man. That's that's my stuff. But I just watch your age, bro. Yeah. Shout out to too much sauce sneaks for the nines, man. man yeah. Boy. Yeah. Y'all see. Sauce for real. Yeah. Hold on. Y'all probably thought I paid for these things. <laughs> y'all probably thought I paid for these. Yeah, yeah. Nah, they were free. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Sauce World, man. Shout out to my guy, man. My partners, man, for hooking me up with these, man. I'ma sleep in these tonight. Yeah, yeah. Man, look at my drip, man. Yeah, drip, drip. My, I came here with these shorts on, not knowing. I know it probably don't match, but I got more money than y'all. <laughs> <laughs> That was up, man. That's what's up. So other than those nines, like what's what type of Jordans like like the releases year that you had to like I know you were talking to me about them thirteen, so what other I, I'm gonna need them still, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, just text me after this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need them chocolate, yeah, man. Yeah. He's talking about the thirteens, yeah. I need them. Yeah. yeah. Um I I I, I want, of course I wanted these and mm -hmm. you shout out to you, man. Yeah, you love yeah. coming through with everyone. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up, man. In a couple more, man. I don't know. Right yeah. off the top, I'm excited to have this on. Yeah. That's what's up, so man. Sauce for it took over my whole imagination, man. This, yeah. this is what I want to work for the rest of the year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was up. So you know, you know, you got the bless. You know, what I'm saying, hit some tunes, man, before you go, man. You know. Yeah, man. Five gonna play. Five gonna play on the keys, man. I know you're gonna play Let's play. 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 Sauce world, man.